Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vosk of the Vosk Point YouTube channel, and today I'm here to show you how to set up NVOC. NVOC is a custom Linux operating system developed by Full Zero of the Bitcoin Talk Forum. So what he did is he created his own custom OS and compiled several miners to just create an awesome software solution. I mean, I'm talking plug and play for your Linux rig. It's a beautiful thing. This software only works for NVIDIA cards. He has another custom Linux OS called RxOC for AMD cards. That one's still earlier in development, but NVOC is much more developed. Specifically, I'm using NVOC 17. He has a newer version called 18, but I don't use 18 yet because I find that it's a little less stable. There are a few new additions to NVOC 18, but overall it remained unchanged and just became a little less stable. I run my entire farm on NVOC 17. I had a few issues with NVOC 15 and 16, but 17 solved all of those for me. So if it's working great, why would I mess with it? There's no performance enhancements, and in my opinion, and there's no additions to any kind of coins that I wanted to mine. So I am a huge advocate of NVOC 17. And specifically, I have it set up and I'm mining Zcash and Zencash. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up really all of those, but specifically Zencash. So what are you going to need for this? You're going to need the software. Link below. You're going to need the imaging software to write onto a USB drive. Yes, you can. All these are ran on a USB stick. That's the hard drive for this. Freaking awesome. You can run off a hard drive. You just need an adapter. There's some links below for that stuff. But really, just get a USB. It's like 10 bucks. It's genius. I mean, shout out to this guy. So, yeah, you need a USB. You need a Windows computer. And you need to download HDD raw copy. Link below. A couple links, okay? I'm putting a couple links for everything, okay? In case the link goes down or whatever. Just specify, you only need a 16 gigabyte USB drive, okay? Everyone uses and recommends the Lexar drives on the Bitcoin Talk thread for this NVOC, okay? It's awesome, it's the best, it's available on Amazon Prime for like almost 10 bucks, okay? This is a 32 gig. 32 gigs allow for a little more expansion and they're a little bit faster. I recommend the 32 over the 16, but if you're pinching pennies, the 16 will work fine and that's what was originally used before Actually, they pretty much were bought out of stock for a while, but I think they're back in stock now. Again, anyway, 32 is way to go. I would be getting the 64 because they're green and I love green, but it's not worth the price difference. The 32 is only like two, three bucks more than the 16. All right guys, so I brought you in for high resolution screen capture, okay? And if you check out my background, it's the wallpaper engine and this is a uh, double doge movie background, freaking awesome. That's like my daughter times two. Okay, the better I'll be your boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? But enough, you're probably getting bored with the jokes. So HDD raw copy tool. Obviously, you need to download it. You need to install it. Okay, boom, it's going to show up. We're going to double click it. There it is. So first step, file. So you're going to double click this, right? And it's going to bring you to all your options. Wherever you want to go, you can go. You need to navigate to the disk image file, NVOC 17, or whatever version you want to install, okay? So you're going to find that, and you're going to double click that. That is your designated file that's going to be written with this tool. You're going to click continue. You're going to click on the USB drive, specifically, obviously, the Lexar USB flash drive. So you're going to click that. Really, you should just double click. Okay, maybe not. You're going to click continue because that was just a joke to test you. Boom. All right. So it's all set up. You're going to click start. Are you absolutely sure you want to proceed? We're going to be overwritten. Obviously, it's why we're here. Alright guys, so just so you know, when you image this, it's not going to be a USB anymore, okay? It's written over the end. Done. Don't ask me how to make it a storage USB drive again. I have no idea. Maybe someone else does, but I have no idea. However, don't think that it's just done. You can rewrite over this with a same image, a new image of NVOC, 100 times if you want to. That's fine. And it's going to work the same way. Um, other than that, you know, your computer is going to write it faster than mine. This is an old piece of crap, Alienware. And furthermore, also, if you have the 32 gigabyte, it's going to write significantly faster than the 16 gigabyte, which is 16 purple, 32 orange. Okay? So I'm going to cut this, and we're going to come back when it's at 100%, all right? All right, guys. So the USB has been imaged. So you're simply going to X out of this. So when you click on USB drive E, at least for my computer, I get the one batch. This is what this whole software is all about. 
If you click F, you're gonna get this. Bing, wrong, don't touch this. Just don't even mess with it. You're gonna get that, don't worry about it. Click back over here to the one bash. Okay, you have two options. I'm gonna show you what the one bash looks like on Linux here in a second. But this is what the one bash looks like on uh, Windows. You get, so now that we're in the one bash, the first thing I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna change my preferred coin. Now just out of habit, I know that if I put in nice, enter, enter, it's gonna bring me to the coin, okay? This is much easier to do on Linux, which I highly recommend, which I'll show you in a second. But I'm on Windows, I'm gonna show you the Windows side now. So on MBO 17, you can just put in Control F, hit nice twice, and you will end up right here. So your coin equals nice. That is the coin that's gonna be selected to mine on your miner. So that's the selection coin right here. So if I put in Zek, I would mine Zcash. Simple as that. It was set on the nice hash algorithm. And you know, if I wanted to mine, for example, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put, I wanna mine Zencash. So what am I gonna put? I'm gonna put Zen, because that's what the abbreviation is set as, and that's how it's set up in the software. Okay, so now just out of habit, I know exactly where to go next, right here. This is the ending of individual power limit, okay? So I'm gonna be able to individually limit power. I'm gonna put yes. Now on my trio rigs, the first 1080 Ti is recommended as GPU zero. The second 1080 Ti is actually recommend, recognized as, uh, sorry, I, should, I meant to say recognized, as GPU two. And then the third GPU on the board, which is the mini, is recognized as GPU one. So I want a power limit of 180. Okay, and I want a power limit of 125 for the mini, and then I want a power limit of 180 again for the other TI. So by setting this power limit, I'm limiting the power that the card can pull. So it's gonna stop at around 180 watts. Okay, so boom, 180, boom, 125, boom, 180, right? So let's go. We're, we're scrolling over, right? So right here, this is the Zek line. If you want to do Zek, you just mess with these options. So we are going to take our sweet bases to Zen. All right, you guys are gonna to have to forgive me for this one. This one's pretty low quality. My camera died, so I had to just go ahead and bring it in closer. It's having trouble focusing, so I'm just gonna break this down real quick before we go over to the Linux version walkthrough. Okay, so I scrolled over and I went to Zen. You could just control F Zen and make your way over here, okay? So Zen Worker, right? So you put in the name for whatever you want your worker to be called. I went ahead, I put in, boom, YouTube Demo Rig, okay? Then the Zen address, right? Pretty important. You're gonna put in your wallet address. I just copy and pasted my wallet address from bitrex.com, which will generate a Zen wallet for you, the quickest and easiest thing ever to do. However, if you wanna check out my video on how to set up a Zencash swing wallet, that's also extremely easy, okay? You just download it, click, boom you're good to go really good really solid software definitely a thumbs up for me on that much better than some other software wallets i've seen from other coins okay so boom you need that otherwise you're going to be mining to someone else's address and then you're never going to make any money you're going to go into debt and die we don't want you to do that come on then the zen pool i'm just leaving it on the recommended zen pool from nboc slash pool zero that's us zenmine.pro the port is already the correct port for that pool at 9009 other than that i mean it's the same thing for every pool if you were wanted to mine expanse this is the expanse pool the port you just basically plug and chug put in your address put in the pool you want to do put in the recommended port and you'll be rocking and rolling okay you can change your worker name whether or not, say like, take this Z Classic pool, right? ZCL, Z Classic, it's what forked off and created Zencash. They forked Z Classic to make Zencash, fun fact. So, for this one, the address is a username. So, you're gonna be using a username to log in as opposed to, you know, a long address such as this Zen address, okay? That depends on the pool. You're still gonna have to put that address in the pool, but you guys may or may not already know that. But again, the pools will walk you through this. Very simple, very easy. You can do it. 
So other than that, you're gonna see this line it says don't, oh here we go, no settings below. Basically, touch any of this and you're gonna just blow up your computer. So don't do that. Just kidding, it won't blow up, but it will not work. If you run into any random issues, re-image and then try again. That solves a lot of problems. All right guys, so now I'm bringing it over to the Linux side. When you first boot it up, it's gonna take longer than normal. So don't freak out, just let it run. You're gonna see the BIOS screen, you're gonna see the Linux OS screen, and then you're gonna end up at the login. You don't need a password. It's automatically gonna log you in yourself. If you're wondering what the password is, if you ever wanna log in and out, which is a quicker way to reset the software than to completely reset the rig, that would be minor one. That's gonna be your password deep by default. You can change all that, but that's a different story. So we're gonna click here. This is the USB plugged in. Also known as our hard drive. This is the one bash. This is everything. This is what, this is the same exact document that we just looked at actually formatted correctly. What a beautiful thing. So you can see, these are your coins you can mine. Zach, Zcoin, Hush, Zen, Z Classic, Nice, Ethereum, Music, Ethereum Classic, Expanse, Decred, whatever you want to do, you can have it, except not really, but there's a ton of coins in here. So, nice, right? Zen. Okay, you can set up all this stuff. So I have a set of Zen, and we're going to come down, we're going to move to, these are all individual settings if you want to mess with your clock settings, which is, you know, recommended once you get more advanced, you know what you're doing. So, here, I've got my individual power limits. I've got all of these at 180 because it's just set up for 1080 Ti on any of the onboard motherboard PCIe slots, okay? Simple as that. You're gonna come down here and you're gonna get to set up the exact coins. You wanna mine Zek? Okay, put your worker in here, put your wallet address, put your pool address, put your port. You're done, good to go. It's much easier to edit on Linux and I highly recommend it. Later on, it's easier for me and quicker for me to just click, click, boom on the Windows side. But it was much easier to do this in the beginning if this is your first time doing this with Linux. So as you can see, as we scroll down, a lot of options here. You can have whatever the hell you'd like. Get that, the 100 reference. Great show, watch it on Netflix. All right guys, so there you have it. It's pretty easy to set up NVOC, even for your first time. So again, you know, you're gonna need the USB drive. You're gonna need NVOC, whatever version you like. Specifically, I'm a big fan of NVOC 17, okay? You're gonna need a mining rig, any kind, any kind, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna check out my video on how to make the trio, make sure to check out the Boss Coin YouTube channel. If you're wondering what kind of mouse and keyboard I'm using, I use the Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse. I'm blanking on the model number off the top of my head, but I will drop the link to get it off Amazon in the description below. Two day shipping. It's just hard to argue with that, man. It just really is. Again, so this is, these are really nice piece. I highly recommend it. It only, for pretty much most rigs, you're gonna be able to use them. Plug and play, plug and play on Windows, plug and play on Linux. It's nice. So as you can see right here, once you get mining, this is the kind of screen you're gonna get. The MVOC runs the EWBF Miner 3.4 version. That's what's automatically selected if you're going to mine a coin such as um, Zencash on the Equihash algorithm. So that's what you're seeing right here. Very nice, very effective, big fan. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below. Otherwise, um, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If there's anything I didn't touch on, please let me know because I will be making another video over the next month where I combine building a trio rig that I'm going to be building for Zencash along with setting up the MDOC software. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time.